What's up guys, Genesis King here, and welcome to a brand new Star Wars Fallen Republic series as the Mandalorians. So, we will be playing on Grand Admiral, and we did up the tech speed, so hopefully we'll get through ship classes uh, and all that other good stuff a little bit quicker. Uh, a few other notes on this particular series. It's going to be probably a 50-50 split um, between role-playing and min-maxing, and it's going to be story driven. So what do I mean by that? So under normal circumstances, um, first buildings that I would build would be tech, tech, and more tech. But with the Mandalorians, I think we're going to kind of intermix more military buildings, military production, uh, planetary defenses, things like that. Um, and I think that's going to make it a more interesting series. Uh, and I'm also curious to see what it does uh, as far as the difficulty of the campaign. So, as I said, we are the Mandalorians, and just very, very briefly, uh, we'll go over our ethics and civics. Uh, so we are authoritarian, we are fanatic militarist, Mandalorian codes, so we get extra habitability and armor hit points, uh, and we also have warrior culture. So, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, Fall Republic, First Galactic Empire. I think, to make this more difficult, we want to start with a united empire. Um, that's going to make the mid game, I think, and late game, technically, probably um, a little more difficult. So we're going to start United. And I think for the sake of performance of the game, we're going to go with 75% of the habitable planets just to give us a little bit of a performance boost. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and check out what we've got. So we are the Mandalorians. And actually, let's go ahead and let this run a day so some scripts can trigger. Boom, there we go. Alright. Alright, there we go, there we go. Okay. Yep. I wish they would be able to uh, disable that. But anyways, um, so we are going to be story-driven. A little bit of roleplay, a little bit of min-maxing. Um, so let's go ahead and grab our first text. Um, colony, ooh, that's pretty strong out of the gate. So let's go colony. Uh, let's go for you. That... Pop growth. <sighs> yeah, let's go with that. Um, and then here. So this is kind of that first decision, I think, between then maxing and a little bit of role playing. So I think we're going to go starship structures. I know this is the proper choice to start the game with, um, but I think we're going to go starship structures. So let's do that. Um, so what is our situation? So we've got a few systems here. We've got Mandalore, Concord Dawn, Ordo, Gargon. Zanbar and Jacalia. Uh, and what I think we're going to want to do really quickly uh, is. Actually, we have to do it this station. We're going to get a couple science ships going with the alloys that we have. Uh, and we should have plenty. Yeah, plenty of credits uh, to hire some scientists. Now, what I'm going to need from you guys in this series is advice on what you think the best roleplay story-driven decisions are going to be. Because I I very much so am in the habit of... And you know what? Let's go ahead and unpause the game. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, I'm very much in the habit of min-maxing. So you guys will need to let me know in the comments. And I'll be asking you throughout the series what you think the best decisions are going to be um, as far as that goes. So first thing we probably need to decide here is what building do we pop onto this? Um, okay. Yep. Okay. That's the rebel factions splintering off from the main galactic empire. It's fine. Who else is left? Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll pop out and take a look at that map situation here in a minute. Uh, why did they... Interesting. Hmm. Oh, uh, the other thing. Forgot to mention. There is a sub-mod that I've got installed. Uh, these lines here kind of doing the sectors of the galaxy. Let me know if you guys are into that. Um, I can't decide. The lines are pretty thick. So I, I don't know if I particularly like that at this point in time. Uh, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Let's get a scientist. Uh, what covers... Dude. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? We're going to recruit you, and then we're going to take a look at our other scientists. Uh, oh, wow. We've got... Okay, you're going to get pulled. I'm going to swap you out. Because that is a hell of a boost to have three 
spark of genius to start out the game there. Um, so yeah, let's grab you and drop you onto that. And I think we're gonna send you... Yeah, we're gonna send you down this way. Go. And yeah, from there we'll decide where we're gonna expand to. Um, let's take a look at our fleet. So we do start out with a 7.5k fleet. Uh, we get what? We get one early destroyer, a bunch of frigates, and then a bunch of corvettes. Okay. Now well, there's the, the Grand Mandalorian fleet right there. Um, at some point we will hire an admiral, and I do want to get these guys in orbit. Um, so that we save a little bit on upkeep. Uh, but getting back to this planet, stability is pretty crap here. Why? Probably lack of jobs. So let's go ahead and upgrade you. And then let's pop in. Honestly, I'm thinking a garrison, to be quite honest. Uh, ooh, wow. We do need more hyperfuel. So actually, let's pop a hyperfuel refinery in there. Alright, here's the situation in the galaxy. Um, apparently you guys, who I thought started, so did you splinter even though, nah, that's weird. Anyways, all right, we got you headed down there, you're surveying up here, our third science ship has come off of the line. Let's recruit you. Wow, maniacal. Damn, let's grab you. Um, and we can always pop you into some research later if need be. So you know what? Oh, there is a pirate fleet there. Okay, so we're stuck that way. Um, let's have you go that direction because it looks like, yeah, those are going to be our three, our three routes. Uh, let's go ahead and bump the speed up. Uh, and let's actually hop over as well and take a look at our ship designs. Um, so we do start with a decent amount unlocked uh, as per usual. Gladiator assault fighters. Oh, I love these so much. I love the Mandalorian fighters. All right, so light turbo lasers, that's the only option we got. That is a hell of a lot of concussion missiles. So we want to do more shield damage if possible. That's minus 12%, minus 12, minus 25 on what? Four damage, four damage, and 4.01. Ooh, guys, 4.01. <laughs> um, You know what? We're going to swap some of these out. We'll, we'll give it a little bit of a split there. Uh, let's not auto-generate. Let's save. And I want to auto-upgrade you. Uh, and yeah. We got you guys. What is this? Quad ball turbo laser. So, circles barrel, concordant crest, noise, mountain, or rotating spherical turret. Interesting. Not as much. No, actually, it's exactly the same damage. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, we'll go with it. Um, okay, so the Galactic Senate. Do we want to join the Galactic Senate? I I don't know. As the Mandalorians, I don't feel like we would want to do this. But it does add a little bit more depth to the game in the things that we do. So I think we are going to join and we can always leave later. All right, Lictor class... I kind of want to build these just because they're so damn cool looking. Additionally, we need shield damage straight out of the gate. And these guys, I think, have the most ion capacity. Um, other than maybe the victories. But these guys kick out a lot more damage. So I kind of want to get one of these built. I'm going to auto upgrade you. What other options do we have here? We can pop in extra armor hit points. Shield, ship weapon damage, and armor hit points. Okay, yeah. Let's grab you. Pop you in there. Um, And yeah, let's actually take a bulkhead as well. And honestly, I think survivability to start probably our best bet. No, you know what? We're Mandalorians, dang it. We need more ship. We need more um uh, armor damage, or ship damage, rather. Boom, there we go. All right, we'll save that design. Any options here yet? No, there is not. So the question becomes, can, oh, hello, pirate fleet. I guess you're not going that way. Um, Let's get you over headed that way. Oh so, yeah, you're gonna keep surveying there. Hopefully this is all available to us. 
Uh, and yeah. Can we build? No, okay, so... Uh, we're lacking that, and we have not upgraded this to... Oops, did not mean to click out of that. Uh, we have not upgraded this to a heavy orbital shipyard. So that's going to need to be one of our early goals. Get this bad boy upgraded so we can start kicking out our large ships. Alright, what do we want to start on tradition-wise? I feel like we want to just start expansion to get that plus 25% colony development speed. Um, but also, I like going into this... Or analysis. Analysis always is strong. I think we're going to start with expansion. Just to get that. And this is kind of that, you know, that mid-maxing part that we were talking about earlier. Um, we're at... Ooh, you are done? Are you done? You are. Go. Uh, encounter in Barajef. Alright, let's go. Situation log. 23 months. Wow. Okay, so maybe we do need to focus on <laughs> getting our research up. Holy cow. All right, encounter Taurus. Are you going to be just as long? 23 months. All right, we're not doing that right now. Not at all. Um, and also, you know what? We need to go and take a look at our edicts that we have available um, just to see if there's anything we need to run. So we do have Mandalorian Crusade campaign. Uh, gives us more army damage, collateral damage, bombardment, fortify the border. That might be good to take a little bit from now, once we've kind of settled into where our uh, our borders are going to end up being. Information quarantine. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, here we go. Uh, Birth of the Galactic Senate. Yeah, great day for the galaxy, I guess. And one of our first major questions within the mod. Are we going to go dark or light? I think we're going dark. Uh, this probably leads us down the path of being against the Rebellion. Uh, but realistically, going dark kind of puts us against everyone else, technically speaking. Um, so we're going to go down the path of the Sith. All right. And hopping over to our policies. Is there anything we want to change? We do allow droid workers, refugees. Yes, we only want citizen species. We will allow slavery. Oppression. Um, heavier amount of oppression is needed to help keep the very star systems enslaved. Yes, I like that. Okay, cool. Um, so the Republic Loyalists and the Ryloth Protectorate now have a defensive pact. And ooh, I need to assign some envoys. So the question becomes, we'll let the game run. Uh, Tales from the Cantina. Uh, yes, please. Um, British for Galaxy. Da -da -da. Uh, all right, we can move into this next start. And I think we want to go ahead and grab Starbase Influence Claim Cost. Help us out immediately. We do have an archaeological site. Um, let's get a construction ship going. And let's go and claim that particular system. Um, and let's pop over and actually pump out a couple more construction ships. And yeah, diplomacy-wise, I completely forgot that, you know, there's this thing in the game. Um, it's called diplomacy. And realistically... You should probably do it. So, in order to avoid war with these guys, at least to start the game, um, I am going to send one of our envoys. Just, just so they don't get pissed off at us. Uh, and then, I think we'll sit on the other one until we decide who we want to not hate us. And it may, well, Galactic Empire is not going to declare war on us. So, let's wait and see who borders us. Uh, and then we'll decide on what we need to do with our envoys. All right, you go build that starbase. You. Okay, so if we can get that, that system will be ours. I think I want you to come down this way. Go survey that system. And I think this may end up... Oh, wow. What do we have? Oh, man. Oh, hello. Fancy meeting you guys here. Um, I wonder what that is. <laughs> Alright, so those guys are potentially... Yeah, there they are, okay. So, we'll probably be able to claim this. And then we have to make a decision. Do we want to go whaling or not? Um, an anomaly. You know what? We're going to research it. Purely because there's not much territory for us to survey. But, it's going to be something we want to make sure to do. Alright. Um, no, yeah, we're good. Let's keep going here. Are you done? You are. Alright, you know what? Keep surveying. 
you are not done there yet. Aha. All right. Build me an observation post and research. Now, as the Mandalorians. Okay, this planet is not appealing to us because it is only 30% habitability. I was going to say, if if it was a higher habitability, um, I would have... I think we would have, as the Mandalorians, we would have invaded this world uh, to take its resources for our own and enslaved the local population. As it is, though, we'll get uh, we'll get some science out of it, and I think that will be fine for now. All right, yeah, this is going to be another empire. Uh, hopefully, we can get a lot of this. Don't know what that looks like yet. Um, this planet here, yep, only thirty percent. So. Again, won't be invading this. Maybe something we do in the future um, as we up our habitability uh, through tech and uh, other things like that. But for now, all right, build observation, build research, and then build, oops, and then build me mining. All right, nano sand. Uh, the untiring crew is excited to report an unanticipated find on the sur surface of Harlan 3. Not only are the plentiful sand dunes on the planet composed of a rare metal granulate, the sand itself is almost entirely composed of countless broken nanites. Astounding. Uh, plus four minerals, engineering. Ooh, all right. Pretty decent. Pretty, pretty, pretty decent. Now, let's have a take a look at our worlds. 23, 8, 8, 8. Ooh, low stability. Let's go ahead and upgrade you. Um, so stability is going to be a thing we probably have to deal with. Alright, communications have been established with the Cathar Principality. Which would be these guys. Okay. So that tells me I actually need to pop down here. Oh, really? You didn't... Okay. You actually didn't finish surveying over here. I feel dumb now. Um, go and survey. And you... Survey, survey, and survey. I don't think we're going to be able to get down here quick enough to block them. But if we can get right here, that'll be a nice little choke point um, so they can't get up into our territory. Um, okay, so just to be safe here, let's go ahead and restrict that system. Let's also restrict that system. And probably that one as well. Yeah, just to be safe, we'll we'll go ahead and do that. Construction ship is not doing anything. Um, do we want to send you up here, or do we want to? We'll let the game run. Do we want to send you down here? You know what? I think we'll be fine down here. We, well, we really should be fine up here, but let's go ahead and go claim that. That'll be okay. And I cannot believe, cannot believe I took that out before he was done surveying. Man. On the way. All right. Go ahead and get you moved down there so you can claim that. Oh the no, they're claiming it already. Crap. Course approved. Crap. All right. Well, we screwed that up, guys. Um, yeah. On you actually go move there. Course approved. You belay your order. And you will go ahead and build that starbase. And you're just going to hang out up there. Well, shoot. That's unfortunate. Alright, can on Mandalore... Can I run a decision? One more pop growth? Yes, I can. Uh, encourage growth. Let's also... Do we have plenty of food? Yeah, I think we got plenty of food to just run some growth. Uh, basically everywhere. Where's our next biggest planet? Yeah, you know what? Sure. Go for it. Yeah, we'll encourage some growth on some of our planets, get a little bit of a pop boost, uh, and we'll go ahead and call that good. And if there is under any other um, policies, edicts, that you guys think we should change and or run, uh, please, please do let me know. Um, I think... Do we want to hop over to analysis or just finish expansion? Mm, we'll think about that for a second here. Uh, Cradle of Life. 
Uh, four gas giants, it's shrouded by a vast plasma field, share a close orbit around a Badajef system primary. Uh, these organisms are all minuscule, with one notable exception, the massive creatures known as Pergil. Although we possess little data on them, they have been uh, seen frequently arranged deep into the galaxy. The system must be where they originally evolved hundreds of millions of years ago. Fascinating. We might as well run down this, though I think popping over here may be smart, but we also may have uh, essentially lost the upper hand on this. Well, not the upper hand. That's not that's not the correct phrase. Uh, the advantage of taking this sooner um, will have been lost, I think, at this point, because we're almost done surveying what we need. What can we grab here? Colony ship speed, starbase upkeep, admin cap. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? We're going to continue down this. Let me know in the comments if you think we should switch to another one. Um, and if so, which one we should swap over to. Let's save some upkeep on our bases or our uh, stations, rather. All right. Yeah, you need to come up and survey over here. And what I'd like to do is potentially, potentially... We're going to claim this system, obviously. And then we need to decide, do we want to go space whaling? Or do we want to protect this? And I think we could go either way on it, to be quite honest. Um, so let me, of all the things I've asked, uh, let me know down in the comments um, what you guys think we should do with, with that system. All right, first thing is first, we are voting on buzzword standardization. And I guess we'll go ahead and vote for it. That's fine. Where are we at in here? Uh, Cantina Intel, credits for information, okay. All right, so these guys, I mentioned earlier. Um, do we want, uh, ooh, a spice freighter. Nice. So additional spice production, plus five, plus one and plus five. Oh, plus one per month and plus 5% for, uh, gotcha. Okay, so you are suspicious. Um, you've got a non-aggression pact with the Republic Loyalists. However, you do not, um, let's go ahead and research it. You don't have any alliance presently. If we can get stronger and conquer you, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Also, we want to go ahead and upgrade this station because this is going to be our defensive point over here. Um, we're pretty secured from this direction, from the loyalists over here. Um, but we want to make sure we're defensed against anybody coming through this way. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this guy. Uh, and we do have three more star bases we can upgrade. So we're going to have to figure out where that's going to be. I do think we want to make sure you're still surveying. Really? Okay. Um... Go ahead and move down there so we can get that at some point. I await your instructions. You move there. You go ahead and come up here and backfill. So research and mining. How is that tech coming along? Now, bear in mind, I did up the tech research speed uh, before this campaign. So that's just, we don't start with great research as the Mandalorians apparently. So. I said early on, maybe we weren't going to go with those buildings, um, but potentially we need to. All right, Concord, you know what? Let's uh, toad asteroid. Hey, plus three research to that system. I do think, well, we can't even do that here quite yet. Can we do it here? Uh, where are we at? Yes. Let's grab one research lab. And then here in Concordia, um, let's go ahead and just upgrade. Upgrade our planetary capital, which will allow us to build more diverse buildings. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a defensive point. Uh, depending on what we find up here. Potentially, if we can get all the way up here, that would be ideal. Get here, secure that system, and then whatever happens to be over here. All right, we have finished starship structures. Our first tech, and it only took us 24 minutes. Hooray! Uh, heavy... Ooh. Def orbital defense cannons. How are our minerals? Yeah, let's go with the minerals. Again, though. System survey complete. Yeah, you know what? We'll come back to that. We'll get the minerals for now. 
Uh, ooh, anomaly hard and a thousand days. Hmm. Let's be, leave it be for now, and we'll we'll circle back around to it. Course approved. All right, build that starbase because I want to claim all the way down here. Do we have anything we can colonize yet? No, damn, that would have. Mm. And that's a light ecumenopolis. Oh no, we really screwed that one up. All right, we probably will need to go to war with these guys sooner rather than later. Um, for a couple reasons. Number one, I want that system. Number two, I think they're going to be significant. Not, they're equivalent, so don't get me wrong. They're equivalent. But they are significantly smaller than us as far as territory. And now is going to be the time to strike because they don't have any allies. Um, can I declare rival? Ah, uh, it requires... Okay, so they don't like us yet. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to harm relations. I'm actually going to send you to go do that so that we can declare rival, uh, get some influence out of it, uh, and then potentially go to war. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Uh, first episodes for me are always a little bit shorter just to get into the game um, and get everything rolling. Uh, episodes after this will be longer, probably in the 30 to 40 minute range, just as a heads up for you guys. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.